Hello and welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In today's tutorial, we are going to be talking about dimensions in Revit. I'll be showing you how you can add dimensions in your Revit project model. Okay, dimensions are annotation elements, as you already know, and are view specific. That means that they are only visible in one view, okay, as opposed to model elements which are visible in all view. Okay, so now to place a dimension in your Revit project model, you go over to the annotate tab, okay select the align dimension all right um there are other types of dimension as you can see this is a dimension panel you can see other types of dimensions available for you to use in Revit project model okay in as much as these dimensions some of them are similar you know in their usage in their applications in their even how you place them in your project model yeah some of them are also quite different from each other okay but then for the purpose of this tutorial what we're about to do okay we're going to be using align dimension okay so on the annotate tab select the align dimension you can also get the dimension tool on the quick access tool by up here but this is where the align dimension tool leaves okay that is the home so select it let's go over here i'll be showing you how to place dimension okay but before we start dimensioning okay there, there is something i want to i want us to notice you know there's something i want us to look at on the options bar okay on the options bar you will see the placement setting this is the placement settings okay uh, the placement settings specify which part of the world you want to dimension from and which part of the world you want to dimension to okay in this case it is on wall faces i'm just going to leave it at wall faces okay you can change yours to center line center of course face of course but wall faces means it snaps to the face of wall okay okay now when you move your cursor over the wall face it highlights okay then you have to click to select it all right when you click another parallel wall like so you see it highlighting when you click another parallel wall the dimension string will display okay then when you click the third time you know in an empty space like so that is how you create a dimension you know in your project model okay now that is how you create dimension in your project model so there are other things i want us to talk about when you want to create a longest when you want to dimension more than just these wall faces i just dimension now you want to add more elements to your dimension how do you do that very simple okay you click the first time you, you find the wall face okay you select this wall face you click you click again instead of clicking like we just did before clicking you know in the middle of nowhere like this you select the other element you want to dimension you can add it like so okay you can keep adding to get to the end then you can just do like we did before you click out like so now you have a lot of dimensions attached to one string okay so then the next thing i want us to look at with the dimension tool with the dimension tool still active if yours is not active like mine you can click on it again okay is to look at these reference these peak options okay now right now is in individual reference we can set it to entire wall what that means is it dimensions it gets the dimension of an entire wall okay so on the options that is where you set how you want it to dimension all right when you set it to opening you set it to center that means places that have opening it will dimension the center of that opening let me show you like this you see it is now giving us the dimension of the center of this door opening that we are having here places like these two you see there is no opening it's just giving us the dimension of the entire wall you see this one also have this wall has openings so you can see this is the center of this opening you can see dimension going there you can play around with this you can set the options you can set it to width now instead of giving us the center of this opening it gives us the width now you can see that this is the 800 door that you have placed here all right you can do the same for this one too okay you can do the same for here you can see the width of the windows displaying okay you can also set it to show the intersecting walls okay you can remove this one and check the openings so when you now click sorry i think there's no intersecting walls over there 
when you come over here and you click you can see the intersecting walls that we have here and here they are all dimension all at once all right so you can just click somewhere when you click the third time like i told you before it is going to place the dimensions all right so just play around with it you can do intersecting grids it this one is uh, this particular option works for the grid you can see i've immediately you can see the grid showing up okay when you click on this one too you can see the grid already dimensioned all right so this is basically the basics of how you place a dimension in revit so that's it for this video i'll be making another part where i will show you how you can edit you know format dimensions to look as good as mine this is not how dimension comes off the bat okay you have to edit it to get something like this if you're using the default revit template that we started using before you may not get a result like this so in our in the next part of this tutorial dimensions i will show you how to edit dimensions to get results such like this one all right that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a like and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing all right we drop videos like this every week where we teach you how to use revit seamlessly ring that bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials all right Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video.